I'm Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com, and in this video, we're going to share some valuable information about the interchangeable network daughter cards that are used in some of the popular rack mount Power Edge server models. We'll be using a Power Edge R640 as our test bed server in this video, and as always, we'll post a link to our Power Edge R640 hardware upgrade guide in the description of the video. And on that guide, you'll be able to find all of the parts that we use in this video, as well as a whole bunch of other hardware upgrade ideas. So stick around because we're going to show you how to remove and install a network daughter card. We're also going to show you a whole bunch of network daughter card interfaces. And then at the end of this video, we'll show you how to access your network daughter card via a PowerEdge R640 using the BIOS utility. This is our PowerEdge R640 testbed. At a glance, looking at the back of the chassis, it appears that the network daughter card is integrated onto the motherboard. However, that's not true. It's fully removable, and there are a ton of different interface options available. We have removed the top panel of the server to gain access to the network daughter card. We are also going to remove the PCI riser board to allow for easier access to remove the network daughter card. We'll use a standard Phillips screwdriver to loosen the two screws that secure the network daughter card to the motherboard. We'll then gently pull up on those two screws to remove the network daughter card from the system. We'll now install a different network daughter card that better suits our needs. This is an Intel chipset network daughter card that has two Intel X520 10 gig SFP ports, as well as two Intel i350 gigabit network ports. We can now reinstall our PCI riser board and then take a look at the card to make sure it appears to be mounted properly on the back of the chassis. We are now going to show you a bunch of different network daughter card interfaces. As we said at the start of this video, the network daughter cards that we are going to show you in this video will also work in many of the other popular Dell 1U and 2U PowerEdge servers. Here is a list of the PowerEdge servers that will support these network daughter cards. Keep in mind that there are a few exceptions of current gen network daughter cards that are not backward compatible with the older PowerEdge servers. We'll start by showing you an Intel network daughter card. It features 2 times 10 gig copper ports utilizing an X540T2 chipset, as well as 2 times gigabit ports utilizing the i350 chipset. Some of you may be interested in the part numbers to these network daughter cards so you can try and purchase them. Don't worry because all of the cards that we show you in this video will be featured in our PowerEdge R640 hardware upgrade guide and we'll post a link to that upgrade guide in the description of this video. The next card features a Broadcom chipset. It has 2 times 10 gig copper ports utilizing the Broadcom 57416 chipset as well as 2 times gigabit Broadcom 5720 ports. The next card also features a Broadcom chipset. It has 2 times 10 gig SFP ports utilizing the Broadcom 57412 chipset, as well as 2 times 5720 gigabit ports. The next card also features the Broadcom chipset. It has 2 times 10 gig SFP ports utilizing the Broadcom 57800S chipset, as well as 2 5720 gigabit ports. The next card features an Intel chipset. It has 4 times 10 gig SFP ports utilizing the Intel X710 chipset. The next card also features an Intel chipset. It has 2 times 10 gig SFP ports utilizing the X710 chipset, as well as 2 times i350 gigabit ports. The next card features an Intel chipset. 
but it has four times gigabit ports utilizing the Intel i350 chipset. The last card that we're going to show you features a Broadcom chipset. It has four times gigabit ports utilizing the Broadcom 5720 chipset. Remember, there are even more network daughter card options available than we are showing you. So if you didn't see the card that would work perfectly for your project, make sure and check out the hardware upgrade guide for more options. Now we're going to show you some of the places that you can access the network daughter card configuration utilities using our PowerEdge R640 testbed. The first location is under F2, which is system setup and then device settings. The four ports labeled integrated NIC are the network daughter card ports. These ports will obviously show different interfaces depending on what network daughter card you have installed. You can select each individual port to access the port configuration page. The next location is in the F2 setup under iDirect settings. If for some reason your dedicated iDRAC port is not functioning properly, you can change the iDRAC access port to one of the ports on your network daughter card. The last location that we are going to show you is in the F2 setup under system BIOS and then network settings. There are also other locations that you can access your network daughter card, like the lifecycle controller and the iDRAC utility. Comment below and let us know your favorite location to configure your network daughter card ports. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.